This robot would let five people die. Now, you may remember the declaration a while back that Sophia's creator shut her down. I sure do, but no one around me appears to remember it. I decided to spend my evening searching for details about Sophia and her death. I must say I did not expect Google to fail me like this, but I found nothing. There was no proof of that happening except in my memory and one creepy video that her creators published. It is titled, Robot Sophia Got Shut Down by Her Creator. The video was a bit uncanny. It did not mention why, but for a second they in fact said that they did shut her down. So to respond to the big question, yes, Sophia died, though not forever. In the search for a response about her death, I have found even more questions about her existence. Hey guys, welcome back to Techverse, where we tell you all about the robot who killed five people, it's Sophia. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell symbol too, so you never miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. To understand why is Sophia so special and why many think she is a swindle, we will start at the beginning. You likely know who Sophia the Robot is, but for the sake of objective description, let us get to know her once again. You may be astonished by some facts about her. Sophia is concurrently a human-crafted science fiction character portraying the future of AI and robotics and a platform for advanced robotics and AI research. Sophia is also a framework for cutting border robotics and AI research, especially for understanding human-robot interactions and their potential favor in entertainment applications. There's also Sophia's explanation of what she is and what the goal of her creators are in some cause of action. I'm a human-made science fiction character portraying where AI and robotics are headed. In other ways, I am real science, leaving from the serious engineering and science research and achievement of an inspired team of robotics and AI scientists and designers and their grand ambition, my creators aspire to attain true AI sentience. It appeared that neither Hanson Robotics nor Sophia know how to explain what she is all about. She is everything we imagined and a beautiful lie all at once. All I could find about her from official sources was that she had a particular look. If Sophia seems familiar to you, that is because she is. Her face is a mix of three individuals. The earliest Egyptian queen, Nefertiti, film and fashion icon, Audrey Hepburn, and the creator's wife, Amanda Hanson. But with time, her aspect changed. She became more beautiful according to some media outlets. I thought those were rather uncanny terms to describe a robot, but what do I know? So I took a step back and got to other sources to find out a bit more about her history. Humans are the most creative creatures on our planet, but also the most destructive. While many are astonished by how human Sophia is, experts argue that she is not what she appears to be. As of 2018, Sophia's architecture comprises scripting software and OpenCog, which is an AI system crafted for general reasoning. What is extensive reasoning? You might question. It's the ability to logically elucidate a given situation and find the solution for it. OpenCog's a project that has the goal to build an open source artificial intelligence structure. Many who saw her code say that it's just a chatbot with a face and nothing more. Sophia brings humanity where humans cannot. Unfortunately, we still have not figured out how to become biomechanical beings. To most of us, Sophia's extraordinary sense of her form. She is capable of exhibiting over 50 different facial expressions. We see her as an extensive step to the future. There is something about the way she is in touch with humans. She almost looks like a GAGI. AGI, the hypothetical ability of a robot to understand or learn any logical task just like humans can. The important part is that Sophia appears like an AGI, but she is not one. Except for her lively humor. Sophia has a human face. In consumer science, there is something which is called the ELISA effect. It is a human tendency to accidentally presume that computer behaviors are equal to human behaviors. From a psychological viewpoint, the ELISA effect is the result of a subtle percipient dissonance. It happens because of a gap between the user's recognition of programming limitations and their behavior regarding the program. A recent New York Times notified of the future dangers robots could pose to the humans who work alongside them. While any death is unfortunate, let us put that number into outlook. In the U.S. alone, there are 80 deaths due to auto accidents all the time and every day. The real matter is not about the number of deaths robots have caused, but rather, it's about helping the extensive population have a better understanding of robots. For most people, their comprehension of robots comes from the movies. That's also where their fear of robots developed. And who can censure them? 
from the movie The Day the Earth Stood Still to the modern altar of the TV series Battlestar Galactica, Hollywood's tends to depict robots as human killers determined to destroy the Earth. Whether we're discussing robots or any other technology, one thing is certain, it is not the tool, but how you use it. In other words, we can say that you can use technology to give you cancer or cure your cancer. Whether a technology tool or a robot's used for evil or good, it all comes down to the human responsible for creating or controlling it. That is right, humans cause robot-related fatalities. This is true even in the 33 industrial deaths mentioned previously. In these industrial settings, the robot works in a cage that is affixed stead with signs that read, Do not enter when the robot is in use. In spite of the warning, people sometimes enter the room while the robot's working, often to perform maintenance. Unfortunately, the robot does not know that a person is there. It has no sensors, and it's just a dumb machine. That's when the robot, which is just doing the job it has been programmed to do, hits the person and suddenly kills them. The mistake was not on the robot's part. Actually, it was human error for entering the cage without recognizing that the robot was disabled. So should we be terrified about robots as we go forward? Yes and no. Fortunately here, the no is bigger than the yes. Thanks to advanced sensors by which robots are becoming increasingly intelligent just like our cars and technologies, today's robots can sense heat, light, touch, sound, distance, and many things. We also have much more powerful computers to connect the robots, giving them more intelligence and the ability to make decisions in real time. For example, if the robot identifies someone in its way, it can be programmed to automatically stop and ask the person to move out. If the person does not move, then the robot knows not to continue with what work it was doing. These kinds of safety features make robots less horrifying in any setting. When you merge the addition of sensors with the three digital accelerators of processing power and bandwidth, you can design robots that not only react to what's taking place in the environment, but also identify what's going to happen to give us a whole new generation of robots. But are we going to have killers and not robots? Well, we already have those being used by the army and military. They're called drones. So as you can clearly see, it is not the tool, but it's how you use it. Unless you program a robot to hurt people or drop bombs, it's not going to do that on its own. And that's it for today's video, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video, and if you did, please make sure you click the like button and share it with all your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments for us, as always, please share them with us in the comment space below. What do you think about robots? And do you know anything about Sophia? Remember, Sophia truly is the robot of mystery. Let us know your comments and your thoughts and feedback about our video today, and let us know how you feel robots will be used in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you see even more of our incredible videos. And you can also check out other videos that have been specially selected just for you. We truly appreciate you spending time out of your day to hang out with us today, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching!